going on everybody welcome back to the channel um we got qui-gon's kid today so uh and i did read ahead i did read ahead so we got some tw stuff we got to talk about but i didn't read the whole kid i just saw territory wars and i was like yes i knew it i knew it um so i love the art um they usually do a pretty good job with the art um i'm, I'm really interested i haven't read anything about the kid i just saw the tw part but uh really interested to see how the i'll take that bet um ability because i'm i'm a big fan of rng i think i think uh that's what makes games really fun is when you know it's just stuff you can't control and you know uh yeah i really like rng um kind of like young lando with his whole rng but then when you give him the zeta it kind of takes away all of his rng anyways let's uh let's go ahead and uh see what he's all about so he's a support galactic republic jedi okay that makes sense uh, some people thought he was gonna be a tank because that padme team still doesn't have a tank yet i mean i guess the I guess the decoy is the tank, but I mean like an actual tank tank. But if you had two tanks on a team, I guess it'd get a little little annoying. Um, but let's go ahead and see. Um, let's see if they have a, a Datacron like they did with a, a Kenobi. Um, let's see. It doesn't look like... <laughs> I love how they're like... They're talking about uh, Qui-Gon's like fan fiction uh, gambling addiction that he has. The poncho, yeah, the poncho looks great. Um, Marquis, that's live in this Thursday, structure. Uh, can the chance cube ever come up red? Currently, no. Okay, so that's his uh, ability there, where he rolls it. So currently, no, the entire ability is balanced around the blue result, and that is the only result that can happen thanks to Qui-Gon's force mutation. Damn, that kind of sucks. Um, oh, darn. That kind of takes the uh, fun out of it, I guess. Okay, so, Ataru Strike um okay i thought he was hiding the lightsaber under, 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 i can't speak underneath his poncho i thought that was kind of funny okay so ataru strike uh cool animation it kind of almost looks like he's hiding the lightsaber underneath his poncho but he is not uh what does this do okay let's see deal special damage and inflict breach on target enemy for one turn um for those of you that aren't familiar with breach um it is speed down and something else i forget what it is it might be speed down and defense down but um, obviously for ships, it's a little bit different. Um, on the target enemy for one turn, during Master Qui-Gon's turn, all Galactic Republic allies gain heal over time, protection over time. Okay, wow. Padme is starting to sound like Trench. Like, 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 hot take here, I guess, but some of the things that Padme and Trench do are very similar, and they're kind of almost mirroring each other in terms of the protection over time and heal over time. Um, gain defense up for one turn. That's good on a base. That's really good on a basic. Holy moly. Um, if Master Qui-Gon has accuracy up, um, all Galactic Republic allies recover 10% health and protection. That's a really good basic. Um, feel, use your instincts. Alright, this is where he sits down kind of like gas and just kind of takes a timeout. Alright, let me make sure I can get all the text in here. Okay, good. Dispel all buffs on target enemy. If the target enemy had any buffs dispelled this way, inflict... Inflict him with buff immunity for one turn and remove 50% turn meter. Okay, wow. That's already really good. And we got like three more sentences to go. If the ally leader slot was we know it all at the start of the battle, Master Qui-Gon exposed all enemies for two turns and, it, and... And... Wait. Yeah, and if an enemy is inflicted with doubt... Oh, God. Oh, please, no. Um, stun them for one turn, which can't be resisted. Oh, my Lord. Please, no. I'm kind of done with doubt right now. I want to take a break from doubt, please. Uh, Master Qui-Gon gains 100% defense for two turns and legendary battle meditation for one turn. Oh, wow. So we're actually getting Bastila's ability? Okay. Okay. Light side Basti. Um, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. Um, if no allies are taunting all other non-galactic... Galactic legend... Non-galactic legend, Galactic Republic. Jeez. These acronyms. It's words, man. Um, there are no, all non-GLGR gain stealth for two turns. If an ally is taunting, all non-Galactic Legend Galactic Republic allies gain speed up for two turns instead. Okay. Um, so basically if you have the decoy, uh, everyone's gonna get speed up. If the decoy is dead, everyone's gonna stealth. That's really interesting. This ability cannot be evaded. Okay. I'll take that bet. Damn, it's so it sucks that it it'll never roll red. I mean, obviously it doesn't roll red in the movie, but it just 
you know, it would be nice to see that. I, I think it'd be kind of funny to see that. Kind of like with Jar Jar, the, the 1% or 0.01% chance of instant, instantly defeating somebody. Uh, roll up, if it's result red, this ability has no effect. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, thank God it's two abilities. I was like, wow, this is long. If the result is blue, which it always is going to be apparently, um, deal special damage based on 5% of his max health. Oh, wow. Plus 2%... Uh, per stack of Queen's Protection. Not familiar how we get that. I think that just gets thrown out by Queen Amidala. I'm not sure how to trigger that. To all enemies. Okay. Dispel all debuffs on all Galactic... They have another cleanse. That's insane. So it's going to be really hard to debuff this team for sure. Um, Master Qui-Gon gains 25% max health, max protection, stacking 100%. For the rest of the encounter... Um, what's the cooldown on this ability? Three. Okay, thank God. Okay, I was like... I was getting like flashbacks of Young Han where you get to spam his special. Um, where do we leave off? Uh, yeah, he gets stacking max max health, max protection for the rest of the encounter. And Padawan Obi Wan gains thirty percent offense for two turns. Oh my god, dude! Obi Wan's gonna be hitting hard. Like like seriously, he's 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 already scary, but now he's gonna be hitting really hard. Um, and he ignores protection, I think too. Um, if the ally leader is Queen Amidala and there's no active ally handmaiden decoy, she gains crit damage and foresight um, for two turns. If there's an active handmaiden decoy, the decoy gains health and protection. Oh my lord. I, we just have to ignore Taunt, I think, to beat this team. We really do. All Galactic Allies gain, um, Galactic Republic Allies gain tenacity for two turns and inflict tenacity down all enemies for two turns. Master Qui Gon. Um, Qui-Gon in, will influence the outcome of the chance cube roll. Yeah, so it's it's always going to be blue. It kind of takes the fun out of it. All right, and then we have one fat big unique here. Stay close to me. Uh, unique one, Zeta Omi. Okay. He only has a one Zeta, right? Right, 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 right. How nice. I love it when we only get these one Zeta characters. Because I know a lot of people are trying to catch up. But the Zeta crunch is real. Um, at the start of the battle, and whenever Galactic Republic al allies... And whenever Galactic Republic allies are stunned, they gain defense up and are immune to term meter reduction for one turn. That's interesting. Okay. Um, that actually counters trench. Oh, huh, how about that? Whenever an ally, uh, when any, whenever, oh, I can't read today. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Whenever any other Jedi ally attacks during uh, Qui Gon's turn, he assists. It doesn't doesn't Obi Wan assist? So are they just gonna constantly just like? Just keep assisting all the time. It's kind of... And they have really good basics, too, so that's kind of not fair. Uh, whenever Qui-Gon is critically hit, all Galactic Republic allies gain 30% protection up for two turns. Jeez Louise. All Galactic Republic attackers uh, allies gain... Or recover 10% health and gain advantage for two turns. An ally Padawan Obi-Wan gains crit damage up for two turns. That's pretty good. Uh, while enemies are inflicted with tenacity down, they have minus 30% crit damage and defense. Oof. Um, the first time any Galactic Republic ally, excluding sums of fall, below 50% health, if the ally leader... <laughs> this is a long one. If the ally in the leader slot is Galactic Republic, the leader takes a bonus turn. Oh my god. So essentially, Padme has like a built-in BAM bonus turn effect kind of a thing in Qui-Gon's kit. Or not Padme, sorry, Queen Amidala. Dispel all debuffs on the leader, and all Galactic Republic allies gain 25% max health to the end of the encounter. How the hell are you supposed to, like, chew through this team? They're just so... They're gonna be so thick and gaining so much health. Like, you just have to, like, instant defeat, or... I don't know. Like, you're gonna have to have some sort of mechanic to defeat this team, because it they're looking ridiculously just defensive right now. Um, if the ally in the leader slot is Queen Amidala, the start of the battle, she gains 25% turn meter. 50% <laughs> if there's an at... Oh, my God. All right, on to the good part. Jeez, that's an insane unique, by the way, guys. Okay, while in TW, all and all allies are non-galactic legend Galactic Republic. It's fair. Um, at the start of the encounter, all allies gain 50% max health. 100% max health if the ally in the leader slot is Queen Amidala. Okay, so I know a lot of people are probably thinking Keller and Beck. Which still, that might be. We don't know. That might be. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be uh, Queen Amidala's uh, TW on me. Um, for the rest of the encounter. So that's kind of nuts. You're doubling everyone's health for free. And defense up for three turns. Okay. That's not bad, starting with a buff. 
Um, whenever Master Qui-Gon is critically hit, he gains foresight and 10 speed stacking, max 50, for two turns. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if he's going to be a slow character then. Whenever Qui-Gon is defeated, all allies gain 50% offense uh, for two turns and recover 100% protection. Wow. So he's kind of got like a hit part of his Omi, I guess, built in here um, for his his other Qui-Gon, GAC um, Omi. That's kind of interesting. If the ally leader slides Galactic Republic, when they have less than 50% max health, uh, Master Qui-Gon gains 50% bonus protection for two turns at the start of his turn. Wait, what? That's crazy. Um, and this is all part of the... T I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Is this part of the Omi right here? Uh, let's read it. If the ally in the leader slide is Queen Omidala, whenever Galactic Republic allies uh, attack on a turn, they deal 50% more damage. Oh my god. Obi-Wan's going to be just... Just one-shotting people. Roof 25% turn meter inflict ability block for one turn, which can't be evaded on the target enemy. Whenever Master Qui-Gon gains legendary battle meditation, all non-galactic legend uh, tank enemies are inflicted with healing immunity. Protection disrup disruption for one turn can't be dispelled or prevented or evaded. Um, that sounds like an Omi. Um, that last bit is insane. Um, so, just... Thinking about all the teams right now in TW, like like the meta, um, this sounds like a team that's gonna just go on defense. Like once everyone gets it, because it's so generic what it does, and I know what Padme does. I'm sorry, um, Queen Amidala. It's so generic what they do that it kind of like it kind of like limits what you can throw at it to get good manners. I feel like um, this is definitely a scary team. Um, I think this might be one of the better defense teams in tw um even though it only has one omi um pad uh i keep saying padme i'm just gonna say padme whatever uh padme's kit uh queen amidala is just really really good um really really good i mean yeah this is this is an insane kit now, now the question is that a lot of people are wondering and you know people keep asking i even keep asking it's who's gonna be the fifth on this team um that's kind of the big one like who's who's gonna be the fifth because obviously it's going to be Queen Amidala. Um, I finally said it correctly. Um, the new Obi-Wan. And we got, a, you know, Master Qui-Gon here. And then probably Padme Amidala as well. You know, like, I think she's just going to fit really well in this team. But who the, who's the fifth going to be? I know some people are speculating C-3PO, R2. Um, and I know people are going to be like, oh, R 3 po goes to CLS and R2 goes to Lance. It's like, yeah, but, you know, if you're taking those teams on offense, sometimes you don't really need them. Um... GK here would be nuts. Uh, Mace, you know, double up on your TW homies. I don't know. It, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to see who's gonna compete for that last spot because I feel like there's just so many right answers and Galactic Republic is such a strong faction. Um, yeah. I mean, it, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I don't think it's gonna be Cup, um, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, there's just a lot of choices and. Uh, I don't think there's a wrong one. Um, so, we'll see. But, yeah, I really like Qui-Gon's kit. It's, uh... The fact that we're getting a battle meditation with him is kind of nuts. Um, it's a really good buff. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I already have one one Omi in the bank right now, and I was, I was kind of scratching my head, like, what I was going to do with it. But there's another TW Omi I can apply, so I guess I'm applying this on uh, Thursday. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get this guy. He's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Queen Amidala is going to be a really good team on defense. Um, I really don't know what she's going to beat on offense just because she has so many things in her kit that just counter a lot of offense teams right now. So not so sure we're going to see her on offense so much. I mean, she might be a really good team on offense though because she doesn't have a, she does have a lot of health and protection recovery, which you know a lot of people always like to look for teams that you can get full banners and GAC with, but. Uh, I think I think we're gonna see her on defense uh, next five v five for sure. Don't know about threes. Um, she doesn't seem like a very good three v three character, but I could be wrong. But yeah, guys, just wanted to go over this kit with, with you guys real quick because I know there's some TW stuff. Um, the Omi looks really good. We'll go back down to it. Um, yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good, especially this last bit right here. Um, this part is insane. Um, you're pretty much just sweeping the legs from underneath any tank. Um, effectively, I mean, it's really, really, uh, 
really good. It lets you help. It really help helps chew through those tanks uh, a lot quicker with healing immunity, protection, disruption on them for one turn. So um, yeah, guys. But other than that, um, guys, take care. Um, I am going to be doing the uh, podcast later today. I think it's in like an hour. Um, and I'll probably have that uploaded for you guys sometime tomorrow. Just because it usually takes a while to upload. It's like an hour long or something like that. But, uh, yeah. Cool kit. Um, can't wait to see what comes out next. Um, you know, what the next set of marquees are going to be. Or kind of where the direction they're headed. Um, I, I feel like we're done with episode one. Like, you know, we've got the Gungans. We got, a. Uh, we got Jar Jar, we got Queen Amidala, Obi Wan. Um, I mean, there's not really much else you can add from the game. If I mean, if you wanted to really just start splitting hairs, I guess you can add like you know, young Anakin um, or Watto or something like that. I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I know a lot of people are pushing for a Darth Maul rework. I don't know if he's gonna get one. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we're done with Episode One, so I'm really curious to see where CG goes next. Other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. And I'll see you next time.